Hi guys, RJ here from Purecast 9. And as you know that I have spoken in my previous video as to how the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 would be Samsung's first phone with its dual camera setup. But the latest rumors or leaks suggest that the Samsung Galaxy Note 8 is not going to be the first phone from Samsung which is going to have the dual camera setup. That honor is going to go to something called Samsung Galaxy C10. Now we've seen the C series and they're a pretty good range of phones though not a flagship level but pretty good nonetheless. So as per rumors the Galaxy C10 is going to have the Snapdragon 660 which is a mid-range chipset so not your flagship level stuff but then again it's something which is obviously going to be much better than something we've been used to in mid-range phones from Samsung. Now, Samsung is set to launch the Snapdragon 660 sometime around uh, the second week of May, so pretty soon, and that will probably happen in the Korean market first in China and then make its way to the rest of the countries. But the exciting news is that the C10 is going to be the first phone from Samsung which is going to have the dual camera setup. Now, I think Samsung is doing this for two reasons. First. Samsung had problems with its uh, production with the dual camera setup which was supposed to come with the Galaxy S8 and the S8 Plus. Remember the leaks we saw or I'm sure you've seen that there was a prototype of the Galaxy S8 and S8 Plus which suggested that um, the Galaxy S8 would come with the dual camera setup but due to production issues that didn't happen. So and my second reason, Samsung is going to launch this mid-range phone with uh, a number of good features of course and not a flagship because I think they would want to test it out first you know they want to test out the dual camera setup they want to see the response they want to see the response of the public of the uh, reviewers and everyone who gets their hands on it and see what worked what didn't work what they can improve and then bring that ultimate refined technology to the Galaxy Note 8. So I don't think this is bad news. I think this is actually good news because, you know, if something didn't happen for a reason, I think it's a good reason that the Galaxy S8 didn't have the dual camera setup. So now we might just see the Galaxy C10 having first dual camera. We are going to see reviews and we are going to get feedback. And obviously Samsung is going to be listening in and then the best of the best is going to make it to the Galaxy Note 8. So yeah, the Galaxy C10, a mid-range phone with the first dual camera setup from Samsung with Snapdragon 660 chipset. So not bad, pretty exciting nonetheless. Thank you so much for watching guys. If you've enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. If you didn't like it, give it a thumbs down. If you've enjoyed it, do subscribe to Purecast 9 for more videos. And as always, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Cheers.